Welcome to QuickSense video tutorial on purchase price list feature. Um, today I'm going to show you step by step how to use the purchase price list feature in Dynamics 365 Business Central 2020 release wave 2. Uh, this also applies to sales price list. With the purchase price list feature, you can create and manage different price lists for purchasing items from different vendors or at different quantities. Let's take a look at how this feature works. First, you need to navigate to the purchase price list page. So I will type here purchase price list. And here, this option will take me to purchase price list settings. What I would like to uh, point out is that if it's not working for you, that's because the feature is not uh, enabled by default and you need to do that. So in order to do that, you have to go to feature management, click here, and these are all the features that are here. You have to search for price. And so this is the new sales pricing experience. And as you can see, it's enabled for all users. So there's a drop down here that you can utilize in order to make it enabled. If it's not enabled, you will not be able to use it. So let's go back to the uh, purchase price list page. Okay, once you're on the purchase price list page, you'll see a list of all existing price lists. To create a new price list, we just need to create new. Next, you'll need to enter a name and a description for the new price list. Here, we need to assign a code. I have uh, created a number series for this purpose. It's called purchase price list. And here's the format P00001. So here we have, we can call this one uh, my purchase price list PPL. Now you could choose to apply this to all vendors or specific vendors. In this case, I'll use the example for one vendor and I'll identify who the vendor is. I'll pick the first one, Fabricam. And you could uh, also specify the currency code, the starting date and ending date, if you wish so. Here you have the items and you can pick the items that you would like to apply this. So this purchase price list now is applying to two items. And here you can identify the drag unit cost. If it's already entered in the item card, it should be pulling it. And you can further identify how much. You can identify what is the minimum quantity. And you can also change this to price and discount. So you can specify exactly the amount of discount, line discount that you would like to apply. We can identify, specify where is the minimum order quantity. Same thing here. And we can specify the purchase price, direct unit cost. And whether to allow line discount or not. Okay, now this purchase price this has been successfully created and we can use it in purchase order. So I will go to purchase order to create a new one. We create a new purchase order. We need to specify the vendor. So in this particular case, it's Fabricam. And we can add the items. Okay. 
Okay, once we have added the items here, now if you're not able to see the uh, discount, we have to go and bring those fields to the subform by using the feature personalize. Then we can add the fields. You can search for discount. And we can add this. Also this one. And now we have the discount percent and discount amount. So we click OK. Here I'm going to add quantities that are greater than the minimum quantity that we specified in the purchase price list. The minimum quantity was 20, so I will put here 22 and 22. And then we notice that there is really no line discount percentage or amount applied. However, we see that the price is already there. It was $20 per item. Um, this is because we have not activated the purchase price. So it's important after we finish, we uh, activate the purchase price. So we have to go back to the purchase price list. And we are working on this one. So here we have to specify how much percentage we want to give to the uh, item if the quantity is greater than 10. So we can put a 10% here and 10% same for this item. And here we have to change the status from draft to active so it will become applicable to the item that we are working on. So this is applied now. We can go back to the purchase order. And here, after I deleted those quantity, I'm going to add it back again. And now you can see that there is a line discount amount and percentage that is applied. And we were able to apply that uh, purchase price list for this specific vendor. We could utilize the same thing for the Aldi vendors. Okay, this will conclude the video tutorial for using the purchase price list. As I mentioned, the similar uh, steps apply to sales price list. Okay, this concludes our session on purchase price list. I hope you enjoyed the training video. If you'd like to learn more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos and Dynamics 365 Business Central. You can also visit us at quicksense.com for more resources and articles around the Business Central. Thanks for watching.